Hello, second graders. Today we are going to be playing a game called Race to 1000. This is a math game. You will need two dice, a pencil, and a piece of paper to do your math on. So, the object of the game is to get to 1000 before your partner does. So, in order to get to 1000, we're going to start at zero. And then we're going to roll our dice to get a two digit number that we are going to add to zero. So we're gonna be adding in this game. So I'm gonna roll my dice. Now, if I'm trying to get to 1000 first, I want to make sure that I'm adding a big number in order to get to 1000 before my partner does. So I have 23 or I can make 30, whoops, 32. So I know in my brain that 32 is bigger or greater than 23. So I'm gonna add 32 to my zero. So I know that zero plus 32 equals 32. Now it's my partner's turn. They will start at zero, they will roll these two dice and they will add the number that they roll to get their answer. So on the next, on my next turn, I'm going to start with this number, this answer that I got in my first equation. So I'm gonna start with 32, and I'm going to add, hmm, okay, so I got five and five, or 55. So I'm gonna add 55 to 32. So for this first, for this second equation, I'm gonna use partial sums. So when we use partial sums, we add using partial sums, we're adding by place value. So I'm gonna start with my ones, and I know that two plus five equals seven, and then if, when I add my tens, I know that three tens, or 30, plus five tens, or 50, equals 80. Now, I need to add 80 plus seven, which is equal to 87. Okay, now it's my partner's turn. So they'll roll and add their numbers together. Now, I'm gonna skip back to my turn. So, I have 87, that's where I'm gonna start my next equation. And then I'm gonna roll my dice to see what I'm adding to 87. So I have a five and a three, so I can make 53 or I can make 35. So in my head, I know that 53 is bigger or greater than 35. So I'm going to add 53 so I can get to 1,000 first. So this time I'm going to use base 10 blocks. So I know that I have eight tens and 87. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have seven ones. And then I know that I have five, five tens and 50 and three ones. So I wanna first start by adding my ones together. So it looks like I'm gonna be able to make a 10. So I have, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good, because I know that seven plus three is 10. So I can, I'm going to circle these and I'm going to trade them in for a 10, another 10. So I made a trade, 10 ones, and I traded it for one 10. So now let's count our 10s. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I know that I have 100 here, so I'm going to circle these, being very careful to stay organized and I'm going to trade those for a hundreds block. Now, let's, let's count our tens first. 10, 20, 30, 40. So I have four, or four tens. So I know that I have one 100, I have four tens, and I have zero ones. All right, so I left off my answer in using my base 10 blocks is 140, so I'm gonna start with that number 
in my next equation. So I'm going to have 140 plus get my dice. We're going to roll our dice. So I have a four and a six. So I know I can make the numbers 40, 46 or I can make the number 64. And in my head, I know that 64 is greater than 46. So in order to get to 1,000 first, I'm gonna use 64. So I have 140 plus 64 equals my answer. And this time, I'm going to use a number line. So I'm gonna draw my number line. And I'm gonna start at 140, and I'm going to count on 64. So I can look, I'm gonna draw what I do, I'm gonna draw some base 10 blocks to make sure that I get all my count hops in. One. So I have six tens, so I'm gonna make a big hop of 60. And because I know that six plus four is 10. Or in this case, 60 plus 40, because I'm, I'm looking at my tens place, equals 100. So I know that 140 plus 60 equals 200. So I use all my tens. Now I have four ones to add. So I'm going to make a tiny hop of four. And I know that 200 plus four is 204. So my answer to this equation would be 204. And you keep on going until somebody gets to 1,000. So you can use partial sums and base 10 blocks, or you can use a number line. Whichever one you have been, you have been using in class and you're most comfortable with in order to solve addition problems. All right, have fun, happy playing.